Hello guys, welcome back to another episode here on European Confessions. There is a message that I want to share with you guys and this message reads like this. Hello my brother, how are you? Can you please post my story? I am a man who is from South Africa. I have come here on your platform hoping that at the end of the day I am going to get some help and the situation that I am facing when I look at my life, it feels as if there is no more hope at all for me because when I did these rituals way back, the rituals that I did, they have made my family to suffer. I have suffered a lot and I have lost my wife and I have lost my sister. And those guys, they promised me that they were chasing away this tokoloshi out of my body and chasing it away from my home but I think that they were just using me. I was told that these rituals that I was performing, they were going to assist me, but I do not see any assistance at all because I am still suffering from that same disease that I was suffering at that time when I did these rituals. After I had done this deal with the devil, my brother, I was someone who started working in the government. When I was working in the government, it was a little bit of luck, maybe because of those rituals, because suddenly after I had submitted my CVs, I then started working for this other department and I was working as a consultant there. So the problem that I was facing was that the guys that I was working with, they didn't like me as well. And in that department, I saw that people were always fighting for positions. And when I entered into this department, everyone just now turned around and they started fighting against me. They wanted to push me out because I then found out that if you have to be in I then found out that for you to get the job that I had, you had to pay something first. And, and if you were a woman, you had to sleep with someone from the HR. Otherwise, you would never get that position that I got with the assistance from that prophet. I then got promotion within a few months after I had started working. So everyone was just hating me. I started suffering from this disease, which made it very impossible for me to work. Because when I was at work, what would happen is that early in the morning, when I would get into my office, usually behind the door, when I would open the door, I would then see that there were some coins that were always placed there. Sometimes I would see that there would be 10 cent coins or one rand, even up to five rand coins that I would find in my office. Each and every time that I would see these coins, I would speak with my wife and we would call our pastor. Then our pastor would drive to the office. We would pray and then the pastor would remove those coins and he would throw them in the dustbin. And this thing, it kept on happening and happening until I got so sick. And when I got sick, this was after I had purchased my second wife, my second house. This one, I had bought it for cash. I had bought it in another location. And at that place where I had bought it, there was a lot of people that were looking for rental rooms. So I thought that it was a wise idea that I get this house and build some back rooms. And the money that we were going to earn, we were going to invest it in another deal. Everything was really going great. Then that guy who was from Zim, who had assisted me, like me getting that good job, he then, stayed, he then said that he had not been able to find a job for a very long time and he was asking for a place to stay since i had some few back rooms there but at that time all of them they were full i said it is fine you can build for me two more back rooms then you are going to take one then you can start staying rent free so he then started staying at my property i only told him that his duty was like to make sure that the yard was always clean and everyone was well behaved over the weekends, I would head over there so that I can see 
if everything was going to plan he then said that since i was suffering from this sort of like a stroke on my left leg it was not a stroke but what was affecting me was a tokoloshi that man told me that he knew what was happening to me and i should stop consulting with my pastor because his prayers they were not helping at all he said that they were just protecting me but since this pastor was not powerful we needed to use some african medicine to chase away this tokoloshi i spoke with my wife and my wife she agreed because for years and years the pastor had been praying for me but things were not changing and at that time when this man suggested that we should try some african medicine i could not even drive my car if the car that i wanted to drive on that day if it was a manual car i could not drive because it was really difficult for me because of my left leg sometimes i can't even feel my leg at all because of that stroke that hit me when i was still working in that department in the government my wife agreed we then went to the location and we collected that prophet and we brought him back to our house. house he then started praying for me and he told me that he had seen in the spirit that i was going to get healed at the end of the day this guy he then charged me 7000 rands because he said that he wanted to use this money to purchase some medicine from different prophets as well as buying some african herbs from his own country he saying that he said that it was going to cost him a lot of money and he said that it is not okay for someone to fight with the tokoloshi without them having an assistance so he said that he had another prophet but he was staying in another province so he was going to send some money for him so that he can come on the day that they wanted to fight with this tokoloshi i said but i do not have that kind of money and at that time i had started telling him that since now he was working because i had allowed him to do his job at my property he was not like waking up in the morning and going to work but he was consulting with people and i said since you are now having your business at my premises how about we do it like this you are not going to be paying rent for 6 months then you can do this prayers for me he said that it was fair enough i then saw that indeed the spiritual world was real because the guy when he started praying for me i saw that the way that he was performing the miracles they were just too much when he started praying for me i saw like there was fluid that was coming out of my left leg and it was really painful just for a few seconds i felt like my leg was alive again and that man said that this tokoloshi it was too powerful and what we had to do was that we had to destroy it the same way that the person who had bewitched me had created this tokoloshi i was told that when this tokoloshi was created they had gone to the river and they had slaughtered some black chickens there and they woke up this tokoloshi that was feeding on my blood so what we had to do was we had to buy five chickens but not black in color we had to by those white chickens then we went into the bushes in the area where we were staying it was really difficult for us to get a river because the only river that is close to the suburbs where i am staying it is in the park so he said that no this water is not moving we need a river whereby the water is always moving he said that it is far much better that we go into the bushes and when we went into the bushes in particular he was looking for those kind of trees that are evergreen throughout the seasons after we had found that evergreen tree that does not go dry the guy said that this was a good place for us we all knelt down me my wife as well as his assistants it was the four of us then he started slaughtering the chickens he would slaughter a chicken so quick my brother and he would hand it to me and he would tell me that i had to sweep is that slaughtered chicken so that the blood can fall at the base of that tree after we were done doing all of those things we then returned back home i dropped them in the location and me and my wife we drove back to the house where we are we 
we drove back to the house where I was staying. On that same day, it was in the evening, when I was fast asleep, I had a dream and this was like the first time ever seeing what a tokoloshi looked like the way that it looked like it was just like a small child but this was like an old man that was trapped inside the body of a small child and in particular it had very long beard even though it had the body of a child but it was like an old man after that dream, I saw that I was dying, my brother, and this Tokoloshi, it kept on laughing and laughing at me. And when I collapsed, I then woke up. And when I woke up, I saw that in our bedroom, there were termites that were busy piling up a lot of soil. And these were not like your normal termites because after we had started removing that soil, we removed two wheelbarrows that were full of soil. We do not even know where this soil was coming from. When that man came and saw the two wheelbarrows of soil that had came out of our bedroom, he said that it is time that you and I, we go to someone that is very powerful but the problem was that this man he was in zim so i waited for the documentation then i took one of my cars me and him and his friend as well as his wife we then all traveled back to the village from where he comes from there in zim in his village the guy then started going around with me we went to church but the situation was not changing what would be happening is that when we were at church because in that church it's not like you go in a building they were just having the church in an open area and we were all sitting down so when i was sitting down when i would stand up people would see that there will be a big termite hill and there will be a lot of termites that will be just building their termite house close to the place where i would be sitting if they would shift me and say go and sit over there a few seconds later then the termites will just start coming out of the earth and they will be taking out a lot of soil so i was told that this thing had to be treated by one of another prophet from that church but the problem was that he didn't come for that conference that we had gone to attend he was in another area we then returned back to that man's house in the same village we waited and we waited that powerful prophet never came and it was time for me and my wife to return back to south africa that man said that you have wasted enough money coming here to zim it is far much better that i go with you to this other man but this man he is a traditional healer and i said why i do not want to go to a traditional healer because i am a christian he then started explaining a lot of things and he said that even himself he was a devoted christian but he also visits traditional healers here and there we then went to that healer's house and when we went in there i was given a small wooden bottle but it was not made out of glass it was made out of wood that healer told me that inside that wooden bottle what i was supposed to do is that once we had arrived back home in south africa me and my wife we had to write our names first and after writing our names we had to tear them into several pieces and throw that piece of paper inside that wooden bottle as well as my kids names i had to do the same thing after that he said that their spirits were the ones that were going to protect me against that tokoloshi and that traditional healer told me how this tokoloshi had been created and it was the same story that i had been told by that man he then said that in that department where i was working one of the supervisors he wanted to have his own brother to come and start working in the department even though he didn't have any experience at all they wanted to just forge some qualifications and so that he can get hired by the department and the way that they created this tokoloshi they took those black chickens and they went to the river and they woke up the spirit of the dead and they sent that tokoloshi to 
come and start feeding on my blood so that it can be alive and in two months time this tokoloshi was alive and well and it was being used by that traditional healer to do some of his evil deeds and whenever it would feel hungry then that tokoloshi would come and it would start feeding on my legs that is why i was experiencing that mild stroke and not being able to feel my legs at all it was because of that tokoloshi that was constantly feeding on my blood i was losing a lot of blood on my left leg so i was told that now that i had met a very powerful traditional healer everything was going to be okay so we then started driving back to south africa since it was a very long way what we did was that I drove first and when I felt that I was tired, I then gave my wife the car, then she drove. When it was now in the evening, my wife was someone who was always scared of driving at night. I then took the wheel and I started driving the car. Whilst I was driving, I felt so tired. It was not like your natural tiredness. I said, if I continue driving, we are going to have a very dangerous accident. I then stopped the car at a safe place and we started resting. We were both fast asleep. Then in my dreams, I saw that I was being followed by an animal. This animal that was following us, it had the head of a mouse, but the body was like that of a cow and it had very sharp teeth this creature like the animal it kept on following me and it was complaining as to why i had decided to leave it behind i tried running away from this animal in my dreams but this creature then got angry at me in that vision like the next episode that i was having in my dreams i saw that the creature it was now in my bedroom and my wife she was sleeping she was fast asleep she didn't even notice that i had entered into the bedroom as well as that creature but this creature it was still outside when i saw myself in my bedroom that creature i saw it it then got so small like a small mouse and then that mouse entered into my bedroom through the roof and it then transformed again and it became that same scary creature it looked at me and i said what are you going to do it didn't speak with me or to do anything it then went to where my wife was sleeping on the bed and it started sucking the blood of my wife until she died and that was when i woke up when i woke up i was screaming that guy asked me why i was screaming because in the car that same prophet he was with us he said that it is far much better that i return with you back to south africa it was the three of us in the car when i woke up and when i was screaming like that he said what is going on and i said it was just a bad dream because i was afraid that if i told this man i am still in this country i do not know what is going to do to me so let me just keep quiet we then returned back home when i returned back home my brother i then opened that wooden bottle that i had been given by that traditional healer to my surprise my brother i saw that all those pieces of papers that contained my name my wife's name as well as my kids names they had all disappeared then later on that guy it was in that same month he then said that the traditional healer whom we had consulted with back there in in zim he had said that i was supposed to go and print out some pictures these pictures that i was supposed to print out they were the pictures of my wife as well as my kids and my mom's picture he told me that the most important picture it was my mom's picture when i would be sending these pictures back to zim that was the most important one and he told me that he was going to tell us the bus which we were supposed to send those pictures with so that he can collect them then on the return trip he was going to give that bus driver the pictures again with some herbs because now my left leg like the stroke it was feeling much better quickly me and my wife we went to town and we had a print out of our pictures after we had came back we wrapped our pictures in a small plastic bag as well as buying just a little grocer this was like the advice that was given to us by that man who used to stay at my house the other house that i have so 
we then sent those pictures to Zim. What that traditional healer did, I do not even know. When those pictures came back with some herbs that I was supposed to use on my legs, that prophet told us everything that we were supposed to do with these pictures that had been sorted out by that traditional healer. What I was told to do was that me and my wife late at night, like late, late when people would be sleeping, we had to take those pictures. But first, we had to take our my mom's picture then we had to roll it you know like what people do when they are rolling a cigarette and that is the way that we were supposed to roll my mom's picture then we had to glue it at the bottom so that anything that we were going to be putting inside that picture it won't fall outside of the picture so we then took a cello tape and we started rolling it at the bottom creating sort of like a foundation there then we started cutting the rest of the other pictures this was per the instruction that had been given to me by that prophet which he had received from that healer from zim and after a few days that man told me that i was supposed to come to my house there where he was staying so i went alone he said that i was supposed to come alone because on this day he was going to fight with the tokoloshi and he wanted to show me how powerful he was i went there late at night and i don't know if he was using some chemicals or what because as he was praying for me he started rubbing his hands he was rubbing his hands very fast but this was after he had used some chemical that was transparent in color if you know this other chemical that is called thinness that smells more like paraffin that is the type of chemical that he was using but it was not smelling at all it was just like liquid i don't know what type of liquid it was it was oily when i saw him rubbing it against his hands one of his friends who was also a prophet was there he was the one who poured that liquid on his hands then he started rubbing and rubbing his hands and i saw that his hands they were now on fire i saw fire burning they were bu they were burning inside the palm of his hands since i was kneeling in front of him he told myself that i had to strip myself naked but not like removing my trousers i only had to remove the t-shirt that i was wearing after i had removed my t-shirt that man he then took a needle after he had taken a needle he started stabbing me all over my back as well as my chest area until blood was coming out he then took that picture of my mom that had several pieces of pictures that me and my wife had helped each other by cutting and placing those small pieces inside my mom's picture and he then started burning that picture until only ashes were left in the palm of his hands and then the fire died down when the fire died down he started singing some shona songs that i could not understand and he started rubbing those ashes all over my back as well as rubbing those ashes all over my chest area and from there on i felt that i was getting healing because my leg it started violently shaking and he said that i should rise up after that i saw that i was able to drive even when i went back home i could walk properly after a couple of days my brother then there was tragedy in the family my wife we just rushed here to the hospital and when i rushed her to the hospital i saw that my wife was not okay because even the way that she was breathing it was like there was a sound that was coming out of her lungs the sound was really scary and the way that my wife passed away unfortunately we could not even have a proper body viewing and it was only one of my wife's sister the one that was very brave she was the one who had that audacity to get into the mortuary when it was time for the body identification before the mortuary could hand the deceased could hand my wife's deceased body to us so that we can take her to her final resting place they told us that it was not a good idea for us and the kids to have a body viewing her bravest sister was the one who did the identification and when we buried my wife i never knew what my wife looked like so at the time my brother this sister-in-law of ours only said that 
my wife the way that she was like it was like there was something that he had been eating her she had seen even part of her skeleton that is why the people from the mortuary didn't want us to see her because they thought that it was going to be something that will disturb us my sister-in-law said that her yes, sister it was like there was acid that had eaten the flesh of her face because her face had been damaged beyond recognition after that my brother i then started struggling a lot and i and this guy that was still staying at my house i only went once and i confronted him and i said this way that my wife passed away it is not a natural way tell me did you do anything to my wife he just said that he was going to tell me and the next thing that i heard was that this guy he was no longer staying at my place but now he was staying at this other church complex the church was in another location so that is where he was staying there and i heard that the pastor what he was doing was that if people would come into that church if they were sick then this guy he was made to be part of the deliverance service but he has seen returned back to his country but what amazed me was that this pastor was even willing to make a deal with this guy even though this guy was mixing traditional stuff and christianity when this guy was still staying at that pastor's church there were a lot of people that were flocking to that church because they heard that miracles were being performed there by that pastor when that guy returned back to zim then the pastor didn't perform any miracles at all so this guy i have no communication with him anymore my wife died and when my wife died in that same year i lost my own sister and this sister of mine she was not sick she was healthy i just lost her like that within three years after i had performed these rituals i have lost my wife my sister and one of my child and when i compare with the money that i used with the life of my loved ones i think that it is not okay what these people did to me I used all of the money that I had thinking that I was fighting against this tokology that is eating my blood this sickness it has since returned back to me and when it returned back to me it returned back with so much power so much that when this tokology comes to feed on my blood i can actually feel like a tingling sensation on my left leg since i am someone that does not have any feeling on his leg so i don't know if it is a painful feeling or what but i just feel a tingling sensation in my leg then it will stop when that sensation will stop i can actually see droplets of blood that will be flowing from my legs it won't be a lot of blood it is just a few droplets of blood i have spoken with people from different cultures and some people have suggested that for me to be okay maybe if i travel to mozambique and there was another man who said that he was willing to assist me for he knows a sangoma who is there in mozambique who can assist me he has already spoken with that sangoma but i am not sure anymore i am afraid of losing my remaining kids and my relatives if i travel there so that i can get assistance i don't know what these people did to me i have come here i have tried praying i have tried even confessing to different churches but it is not working at all wherever i go with my story at the end of the day they try to take advantage of me please help me by all means if there is anyone who knows anyone who can assist me i'll be following through in the comment section dear listeners right there was a message that i received it was a message that was forwarded to me by one of our admins please let us talk with our dear brother in the comment section